Chapter 50 How a desolate man ought to commit himself into the hands of God. O Lord, Holy Father, be Thou blessed now and evermore, because as Thou wilt, so it is done, and what Thou doest is good. Let Thy servant rejoice in Thee, not in himself, nor in any other, because Thou alone art the true joy. Thou art my hope and my crown, Thou art my joy and my honour, O Lord. What hath thy servant which he receiveth not from thee, even without merit of his own? Thine are all things which thou hast given, and which thou hast made. I am poor, and in misery even from my youth up. Psalm 138, verse 15 And my soul is sorrowful unto tears, sometimes also it is disquieted within itself, because of the sufferings which are coming upon it. I long after the joy of peace, for the peace of thy children do I beseech, for in the light of thy comfort they are fed by thee. If thou give peace, if thou pour into me holy joy, the soul of thy servant shall be full of melody, and devout in thy praise. But if thou withdraw thyself as too often thou art wont, he will not be able to run in the way of thy commandments, but rather he will smite his breast and will bow his knees, because it is not with him as yesterday and the day before, when thy candle shined upon his head. Job 29 verse 3 And he walked under the shadow of thy wings. Psalm 17 verse 8 from the temptations which beset him. O Father, righteous and ever to be praised, the hour cometh when thy servant is to be proved. O beloved Father, it is well that in this hour thy servant suffer somewhat for thy sake. O Father, ever more to be adored, as the hour cometh which thou foreknowest from everlasting, when for a little while thy servant should outwardly bow down, but always live inwardly with thee, when for a little while he should be little regarded, humbled and fail in the eyes of men, should be wasted with sufferings and weaknesses, to rise again with thee in the dawn of the new light, and be glorified in the heavenly places. O Holy Father, Thou hast ordained it so, and so hast willed it, and that is done which Thou Thyself hast commanded. For this is Thy favour to Thy friend, that he should suffer and be troubled in the world for Thy love's sake, how often soever, and by whomsoever, and whosoever Thou hast suffered it to be done without thy counsel and providence, and without cause, nothing cometh to pass on the earth. It is good for me, Lord, that I have been in trouble, that I may learn thy statutes. Psalm 119, verse 71 And may cast away all pride of heart and presumption. It is profitable for me that confusion hath covered my face, that I may seek to thee for consolation, rather than unto men. By this also I have learned to dread thine unsearchable judgment, who afflictest the just with the wicked, but not without equity and justice. Thanks be unto thee, because thou hast not spared my sins, but hast beaten me with stripes of love, afflicting pains, and sending troubles upon me without and within. There is none who can console me, of all things which are under heaven, but Thou only, O Lord my God, Thou heavenly physician of souls, who dost scourge, and hast mercy, who leadest down to hell, and bringest up again. Job 13 verse 2 Thy discipline over me, and thy rod itself, shall teach me. Behold, O Heavenly Father, I am in thy hands. 
I bow myself under the rod of thy correction. Smite my back and my neck, that I may bend my crookedness to thy will. Make me a pious and lowly disciple, as thou wert wont to be kind, that I may walk according to every nod of thine. To thee I commend myself and all that I have for correction. Better is it to be punished here than hereafter. Thou knowest all things, and each of them, and nothing remaineth hid from thee in man's conscience. Before they are, thou knowest that they will be, and thou needest not that any man teach thee or admonish thee concerning the things which are done upon the earth. Thou knowest what is expedient for my profit, and how greatly trouble serveth unto the scrubbing off the rust of sin. Do with me according to thy desired good pleasure, and despise not my life which is full of sin, known to none so entirely and fully as to thee alone. Grant me, O Lord, to know that which ought to be known, to love that which ought to be loved, to praise that which pleaseth thee most, to esteem that which is precious in thy sight, to blame that which is vile in thine eyes. Suffer me not to judge according to the sight of bodily eyes, nor to give sentence according to the hearing of the ears of ignorant men, but to discern in true judgment between visible and spiritual things, and above all things to be ever seeking after the will of thy good pleasure. Oftentimes the senses of men are deceived in judging. The lovers of the world also are deceived in that they love only visible things. What is a man better because by man he is reckoned very great? The deceiver deceiveth the deceiver, the vain man the vain, the blind man the blind, the weak man the weak, when they exalt one another, and in truth they rather put to shame while they foolishly praise. For as humble St. Francis saith, What each one is in thine eyes, so much he is, and no more. End of chapter 50